Number of Toledo area residents who lost their power in yesterday's storms may not get it back until Saturday. That's because major damage was caused to some trees and power lines. 13 Action News reporter Carly Petrus joins us live with the details. Carly. Diane, still thousands without power, and I'm over here in Ottawa Hills right now. It's very dark around me. There's no sign of light, and you can hear the hum of the generators. Some families over here tell me this is the longest they've ever gone without power. Now more than 24 hours without power for some people in the Toledo area. We've never had it go out this long. And according to reports from Toledo Edison, it could be even longer, possibly until Saturday afternoon for customers in Ottawa Hills. Surely they're wrong. It's not Saturday. Surely that's wrong, right? The company sending out this message today saying the cause of the outage was equipment damage. And while for most families, the news is inconvenient. Nobody can sleep and it's just, you know, we're just trying to adjust. And a generator can get some things going for a little bit. It's just really enough to keep some phones charged and to keep the refrigerator cold. But for Heather Allen, no power means no medicine for her autoimmune disease. My medication is refrigerated. So when I was told that the power wasn't going to come back on until Saturday at 1 p.m., I needed to make arrangements. She says a situation like this becomes tricky, but if her medicine goes bad, it costs a fortune to replace. I was able to call my church. We have some industrial um, refrigerators and freezers there. I now just drive back and forth to get it every day. With hopes of power coming back soon, many people in the community say they understand they're not necessarily at the top of the to-do list. I think there's also probably higher priority people. So, you know, your hospitals, your people that might have oxygen, people that are on uh, special health equipment. You know, we just kind of have to wait our turn. Now, like I stated earlier, most customers are expected to get power back Saturday afternoon. If you're wanting to keep an update on your area, you can go to the Toledo Edison outage map. Diane.